Hi, welcome back to the workshop. What we're going to do today is we're going to build a new sawdust collection bin for our dust extract system. Those of you who have seen last week's video demonstration of the cyclone system would have seen obviously the surprising explosion towards the end of the video of that bucket. Um, I invite you to go and have a look at that. If you haven't seen that video already, check that out. I'm going to put a link in the description below to that video, so make sure you have a look at that one. It is quite funny. Um, so what we've done is we've purchased a new bin, a lot bigger, this is a 50 litre dust bin and obviously clear. Um, the one thing we found with this system is we didn't know when it was full. So obviously now we'll be able to see exactly how full it is, we know exactly when to empty it. A lot stronger bin than the previous one. I'm not planning to use this lid however, um, it's a little bit flimsy. I need something quite sturdy to sit the cyclone on and also with this moulding here it's going to be very difficult to get a decent connection there's nothing really to screw to here so I'm going to dispose of this lid and in today's video what we're going to do is going to build a wooden lid for this bucket out of a bit of three quarter inch plywood I'm going to be cutting the circle using the table saw a lot of people use a router jig to cut circles I'm going to show you today how you can cut circles using your table saw I will also use a router jig because on the flip side of the lid what I want to do is route a dado to accept this rim of the of the bucket here. I'm going to do a shallow dado on the back so I get a nice tight snug fit um, which will keep it obviously the system airtight. And then we're going to screw a hole in the middle of that plywood lid and then obviously screw some holes for these bolts, bolt the cyclone to the new lid and then at the end of the video, we're going to give you enough demonstration so you can see the whole system working. Okay, so let's get to it. Right, I've got myself a piece of three quarter inch plywood. This bin's just a little bit over 17 inches in diameter. And I'm going to want a little bit more all the way around. So I'm going to leave myself about another inch all the way around. So I'm just going to draw around this lid just to give me a rough indication of where I need to cut and then I'm going to get with the jigsaw I'm just going to rough that out leaving an inch wider all the way around and then we're going to take that piece that rough piece to the table saw and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to true that up to a perfect circle. There I've cut the blank with the jigsaw I've kept a good inch outside my pencil mark that's going to give me plenty of wood to trim off at the table saw and also going to give me enough space to run the dado on the underside of the lid when we come to that stage. I'm now just going to drill a pilot hole in the centre and then place a screw in there and take it over to the table saw to trim the whole circle up. I want the finished lid to be 18 inches in diameter so from the centre if I mark 9 inches to the outside put a mark there I'm going to drill a pilot hole in the middle of this disc and then I'm going to screw it to the large sled on the table saw. I'm going to put that mark right on the right hand side of the, where the blade is on the sled, put a screw in this pilot hole and then that will allow me to spin this disc into the saw blade and I'm going to initially take some small cuts off of it just to rough it into a circle and then eventually I'll be able to just turn it into the blade and then cut a perfect circle. So let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna roughly eyeball my pencil mark to this cut line in my sled. So I know that's going to give me the right position and then we're going to put this screw in. Okay, there we have it. Now that's going to spin nice and freely on the table sled. I'm going to be able to raise the blade, take some cuts initially and then obviously once I get it to a rough circle I can then gradually feed it into the blade and true it up to a perfect circle. So let's do that.
there we have it perfect circle cut on the table saw now we've got the bin lid cut to a perfect circle I'm just going to ease these sharp corners with my trim router I've got a little radius round over bit riding on a ball bearing uh, installed in the trim router I'm just going to knock the corner off this lid There we go, let's put a nice radius on there, a little bit of sand in and that'll be lovely and smooth. I'm going to carry on doing the rest of this side, flip it over and do the other side as well. There we go, that's rounded over the top and bottom of the lid, made that ease that edge nicely. And now we're going to put the dado in the bottom side of the lid. I'm going to use a circle jig on my large router with probably a domed router bit or maybe even a straight cutting bit. I'm just going to put a shallow dado in there which will sit over the edge of the bin. I'm going to do that next. What I've done here is I've made a simple circle cutting jig out of a piece of 6mm MDF. You could use a piece of quarter inch plywood. We take the manufacturer's screws out of the base plate of the router, remove the base plate. I've used that to then mark the screw locations on this circle cutting jig. I've then drilled pilot holes and countersunk them and then I'm going to now screw this to the base of the router with the existing screws. I can then on this radius line here I can measure exactly how far I want the radius to be to the bit for the centre of the circle, drill a pilot hole and put a screw or a pin or a dowel in there and then be able to route a perfect circle. So let's get that set up. I've got the circle cutting jig mounted to the router now. I've got a 5.8 straight cutting bit mounted in the router. I've measured the internal diameter of the bin which is 384 millimetres. I've halved that 192 and then I've measured from the side of the bit 192 made a mark. This is going to be the centre point for the radius the internal diameter of the bin. So when I plough that dado out I know that the inside face of that bit is going to be exactly on the inside face of the bin. All right, we've got the depth gauge set on the router to 9mm, so when I plunge into the wood it's going to be halfway through. I've got the drill bit that we used to do the pilot hole in the lid. I've just placed that into the circle cutting jig, so that's going to guide the router around. So now I'm just going to turn on, plunge into the wood, and then route the little dado. Okay, we've ploughed the dado with the circle all the way round. We've test fitted it to the top of the bucket and it was just a fraction too tight. I think because the top edge of the bucket flares out slightly. So what we've done is we've ruled another centre line on our circle cutting jig. I've then increased the radius just by one millimetre. So that will effectively give me two millimetres across the diameter extra width. We then drilled another pilot hole, run the router around again just to give us an extra millimetre on the outside edge. And now if we test fit that to the bucket. That's now a nice snug fit. I can even pick the bucket up with the lid so I know that's going to be airtight. Now we're going to fix the cyclone to the top of the lid. We need to cut a hole large enough for this spigot on the bottom here. I found a hole saw which matches the outside diameter of that exactly. And then once we've got that hole cut, we'll then mark the position of these screw holes and then drill pilot holes for those. Cut the hole out of the middle of the lid with the hole saw. Now we'll test fit the cyclone. Should be a nice snug fit. Yeah, that fits lovely. Really nice and tight. 
There we go. So now all we've got to do is mark the positions of the holes and then drill some pilot holes for the screws. We've marked the hole locations for the bolts with a pencil. I'm just going to put a bradle point in these so it starts the drill. And then we're going to drill a pilot hole for the screws. I'll put a little bit of tape on the drill bit just to give me a depth because I don't want to go all the way through this lid. Okay, there we have it. Now we'll get the cyclone screwed on. That's got all the screws into the lid now to secure the cyclone to the lid. I know that's going to be a really nice airtight seal there, that was nice and tight. And all we've got to do now, fit the lid on the bucket. I know that's a nice tight fit. I am actually going to remake some handles using an old coat hanger. I'm going to bend up and fashion some new handles, but to be honest, I don't think it really needs it. That's a nice snug fit. So now we're going to hook up all the hoses and then we're going to give it a number demo. So here we have it, our completed sawdust collection bin. I've got all of the hoses hooked up now. I've got the vacuum coming into the top of the cyclone and then this is going to be my collection hose. And we're going to run another demo, same as we did before. I've got a pile of sawdust that we've created today in the shop that I'm going to hoover up. Let's see how well it performs. So there we have it, what a fantastic system. This is a great upgrade to this Cyclone. It works really efficiently and it's gonna be a huge asset to our workshop. We're gonna get it installed back onto the central ductwork system now so all the tools are back up and running. If you've liked what you've seen here in this video, please do subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be putting out weekly videos on various builds within the workshop and it'd be great to have you along. Hope you found this interesting. Look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers.